Rejection. It's a harsh word. When it happens to you, it hurts. Bad. The night before I got the news that I had the single is probably the lowest. I can't believe I'm getting choked up about that. Being dismissed, overlooked, and not taken seriously can create a profound sense of hopelessness and take us to the darkest corners of despair. I didn't even know I was capable of feeling so sad. It really gave me a whole new understanding of mental health and what people could be struggling with because I had never experienced suicidal ideation and thoughts and anything like that before. And it was a very real experience. But sometimes rejection only hurts until you put it in its place. Before I hit the stage, I think about all those negative comments and people told me I wouldn't make it and nobody cared about my music. And I just go out there and I prove them all wrong. Web Storytellers presents Rejected, a docu-series for those who've been relentlessly rejected, but persevered, overcame, and reached heights they never dreamed of. I've accomplished a hundred times more than I ever thought I would. I never dreamed of being Songwriter of the Year. I've been that twice. I never dreamed about writing 20 number one songs. I'm there. If you get rejected, you've got to look inside yourself and you've got to ask yourself, how bad do I want this? Is it worth being rejected again and again and again and again? And if the answer is yes, then the heck with the rejection. Just keep grinding every single day, no matter what. Their stories will inspire, motivate, and encourage you to never give up. Because what appears like the end of the road is often just the beginning. I think being rejected has allowed me to build up the strength and resilience that it takes to be in one of the most competitive niche markets in the world. No matter how many times they tell you no, your yes, is at the end of the rainbow and all you have to do is get there.